What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the $20 house flip. As of right now, the guys are actually inside the house finishing up the drywall. They will be done today. Very excited to show you guys all of that. But first, we need to go to the Goodwill bins, buy some more stuff, and do a whatnot auction because we're still like $200, $300 short of paying these guys today. So stick around. Just in case you're new here, a couple months ago, we took $20 into our local Goodwill store and bought several items we could flip online for a profit. Once we had those items sold, we reinvested most of that money into doing some work at a piece of real estate that we're trying to turn into a rental property. The rest of the money was invested into more inventory, and that cycle will continue until we have a completely remodeled rental property for only $20 out of pocket. We're at the Goodwill bins today. We had a lot to do this morning, so I'm actually about 10 minutes late. Never been here this late before. We actually couldn't even find a daggone parking spot. Haley's already inside, dropped her off at the door. Okay, Josh let me out of the door. We are very late. We missed the opening, so let's see if we can actually find something today. Oh, really? Yeah, it's still in the paper. Oh, I don't cool. know what it has on it. Okay, thank you. It's like a bunch of stuff left over from college. Students moving out. Leaving all this like storage stuff. We got a bottle of this OxyClean stuff. I'm not sure how much that'll be, but probably cheaper than we can get it for in the store. So Levi's, Levi's City. Grab that. Got this cool little like crocheted scarf. I don't think it's old. It looks pretty hand like handmade and relatively modern. But pretty lightweight. Probably only costs about a dollar or so. Winchester. I don't think it's really old because the tag is so faded. It's pretty cool. I found this Timberland jacket, a little fleece pullover thing. Looks like to be in good condition. Set up. Found another crocheted blanket here. A nice little rainbow pattern. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Maybe like a twin size. One little pull right there in the middle. Of the... I still think I'll get it. It's even more crocheted stuff down here. I'm not even sure blankets are weighed. I think they just charge like a dollar for each one. Okay, then. More. This one looks old. Got that candy corn colorway. Wait, 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 quick, 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 quick. Do you know what my social security number is? Or if I'm allergic to anything? I don't like corn. Should I put that down? Or will that be confusing? Because I do like candy corn. Oh, Ron, what a mess. Over right here we got some uh, Huggle slipper socks. New in the box. Grab those. Chick-fil-A hat. Chick-fil-A stuff does pretty well out there. Deer blanket. It's pretty cool. It's very soft. Justice League Batman. I think it's a kid's hat, but it's still really cool. I can pick that up too. That's cool. Got the little shoe bin over here. It looks like it's uh it's been picked through a good bit. That's a pair of Nikes. Those aren't bad at all. I think the uppers are in good shape. They're kind of small. They're like, looks like a women's eight and a half. I think once we take a magic eraser to the soles, get them cleaned up a little bit, I might get, I don't know, 15 bucks for them. Got this pair of boots right here, Caterpillar cat boots. They look to be, I mean, used obviously, but like there's plenty of tread left on the bottom. There's no holes, there's no cracking or anything like that. Caterpillar's a pretty solid brand. They're not steel toe, kind of wish they were, but. It probably cost like four dollars. I think we clean them up a little bit, hit it with some leather conditioner, might get maybe 20 25 bucks for them. 
I also saw this one little fit flop right here that's in pretty good condition. Just can't find the match to it. Oh, these Skechers right here. So this is like Skechers versions of uh, Rothy's. And I don't know, like I used to not like Skechers at all, but now they're actually starting to make some stylish shoes. They're pairing with some celebrities. Got Snoop Dogg rock rocking Skechers all the time. Hey Snoop, how do you do all this stuff? Skechers, baby. Shoes made for all walks of life. Get your feet off the desk. So I don't know. I look out for Skechers. It's actually one of the best selling brands of shoes, uh, used shoes on eBay. I don't see the other fit flop, so I'll pass on that. Captain Marvel Funko. Just found this New York Yankees like, Cooperstown collection Nike shirt. Women's. It's really cute. Cute sleeves. Look at this, just sitting right here, this Nintendo. It's modern, but it's still really cool. Screen print, size small. I don't see any, a little bit of pilling, but no stains or anything. It's got a nice Nintendo thing on the sleeve. Yeah, I'll grab that. Another little tie-dye piece right here. Oh, it's Torrid. Torrid's pretty good. It's a Torrid size 2, so it's like a women's 2XL. Tie-dye, full zip. Don't see any holes or stains anywhere. Grab that. So it looks like the first two rows over here are just a bunch of items that were left over by students um, that just moved out of the University of South Carolina. A lot of like cheap furniture, a lot of like bed spreads and like basic, you know, mall brand clothing, bed sheets trash cans, mirrors, shelves. So I'm not sure we're gonna find any hard goods today, unfortunately. Got this little beanie here, Irish, Nike, and James. Is that LeBron James? I don't know if he ever played for the Irish, but I'll grab that. This one these Levi Strauss pants. They're really cool. Really cool pattern. They've got pockets on the sides. These are a I think they're women's. No, they're men's. This is cool. I'm gonna grab this. Nike T. Pretty faded, but so cool. Another one of these Kangle hats. It's a size small, but Pretty cool. So, oh, just got some. You talking to yourself? I am talking why to myself. <laughs> Tell me why. I'm right here. You can talk to me. I love, some... I love talking, talking to people. That's right. What you think? Moth holes? Yeah, I don't know. You don't want to do that. If you say you don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the feedback. You're welcome, mate. You find anything today? Uh, no, no more than this guy right here. Yeah. How about you? Grabbed a couple things, but it's oh. definitely not, uh, no, it's no, not as, 100%. yeah. What's up, man? What's up? I saw you, I saw myself in one of your YouTube Oh, yeah? You find anything today? Oh, that's cool. What brand is that? Uh, Trip. Trip? Yeah, it's like a, uh, early Y2K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y2K's in, man. Yeah. That's what, like a hundred bucks? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Just picked up this really cool Jasmine tee, Disney 3X. Nothing great, but we can get a couple bucks for it on whatnot. Just found an Under Armour sweatshirt, size medium. Just got this little skirt here, or skort. I think it's, maybe it's just shorts. No, it looks like a skirt from the outside. Wait, no, it is a skirt. Yeah, it's all the way through, but it's a, uh, the brand is Prana. That's what the logo looks like there. I don't think it's anything crazy. A little fuzz on the back. But, uh, might try it out. Looks interesting. It's got cargo pockets on the skirt. 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 Size 12. We got a... I saw this. Collegiate Snuggie here. It's a Carolina Gamecocks. Snuggie. Sleep with blankets. 
guess we'll get that. Carolina stuff is so specific. Like we found a ton of it here because that's the school that's here. But then when we sell them whatnot, it just doesn't really do that well all the time. But they might ring that up as a blanket for a dollar. This is an, a NASCAR hat, but Old Spice. Old Spice. Hmm. Interesting. Stuart Oss. What do you think about it? Should we get it? Yeah, probably. Old Spice, was, I thought it was might be from Talladega Nights because I think they were sponsored by Old Spice, one of them. But uh, yeah, I'll grab it. I think I just found a Coochie here. Coochie Expedition. I think it might be fake though because those letters are like attached. Y'all can see that? Yeah. I think that's a fake Coochie. Yeah, yeah. I just turned off my camera, but this was just sitting here. Oh wow. It's a little Nike pullover. I wonder if something's wrong with it just because it was sitting here. Zip Zipper works. Pretty pocket. Is that it's two like different pockets? Yeah, Nike standard, standard issue. issue modern. Really so modern tag. That's really cool though. Yeah. I like that. I'll grab that. I'm gonna go up here and check out and we will get back to you guys in the parking lot. I forgot to film in the parking lot, but we spent a total of $53.47 today. Heading into the regular side of the Goodwill as well. Everything in here is just like retail, normal Goodwill prices. Occasionally oh, we can find some look at all that stuff. good stuff. Look at all the daggone blankets. Found this really cool Jansport uh, crew neck. It's, it doesn't say made in USA, but it feels old. It's got, it's a uh, Clemson. It's all embroidered. Right, same with Carolina stuff. Like when you have a specific school like this, it does hurt the market a little bit. But this is going to be I think five dollars and seventy-five cents. It's very high quality. No stains, no holes, no rips. I think I'll take a chance on that. Just found this Champion reverse weave, modern, but it's cool. It's like striped. It's got Champion on there. This is also a. This is an extra large. It looks on the smaller side, maybe a kids. Still really cool. Got the new with tags, members mark, Sam Club's, Sam's Club shacket, plaid shacket. I don't know how much they retail for, but these are super popular right now. And this will only be $5.75, so I might take a chance on that. It's literally new with tags. I'll grab it. Just found Patagonia, women's size medium. Good use condition, no stains or issues. Definitely grabbing that. I rarely look in the women's like shirt and glasses section, but I just found this bubblegum shrimp co shirt or sweatshirt. Cool thing on the back, it's actually new with tags. Originally $44. So small, but I think I'm gonna still grab it. So I only found two things, but look Check at what Haley. This. Check out this Ben and Jerry shirt. It's not the vintage one. Um, there's yeah. like a vintage one that's made in USA single stage, it sells for crazy money. I think it's like four or five hundred dollars. That's a like a modern version, but still yeah. really cool. Probably an easy thirty bucks, thirty Only $1. forty bucks. Fifty here. Yeah, really cool. What else you got? Also, shout out to your favorite movie ever, Bubba Gump oh Shrimp Co. It's actually new to town. Wow. And it's got a um. That's really cool. Little hit on the back. So yeah. Found some great stuff. All right, check this out. I got it. It it seems. Yeah, it's like super faded. It's really, it's got the leather things. And it's, it's a polo, polo Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Right there. And the armpit. Man, it's like somebody really used cool this shirt though. to like weld in or something. I mean, is it like people buy Carhartt like this, so tattered like this? Do you think people would buy polo shirts? I mean, I think it looks really cool. I think I'm going to get it. Because if Polo Ralph Lauren made a shirt that looked like this new, it would probably be like $1,000. Uh, really? Yeah. I forgot to film us checking out in this store, but we spent a total of $34.31 on all that stuff. Pretty much everything we found in today's video is going to be for sale in our next WhatNot auction. So if you don't have the app, you can scan the QR code on the screen or head to the link on the screen and do that. And first time users get $15 off your first purchase. We did have a good amount of eBay sales come in for this challenge. Over the last few weeks, we sold this Cobalt Torque Wrench on eBay for $38 plus shipping. These Echo Shoes sold for $40 plus shipping. These UFO Shoes from our very last episode sold for $44 plus shipping. This damaged Johnny was dress sold for 20 plus shipping and finally our biggest sale of the challenge so far I think Carhartt jacket vintage from the bins sold for $119 plus shipping after eBay fees that nets us about $228 towards our house budget we also did another whatnot auction with 36 total items most of which were from our very last episode at the Goodwill bins but we had a couple of older items from previous episodes sprinkled in as 
Well, I don't want to show you all 36 items, but you know we had a, a Mount Rushmore t-shirt that sold for thir 13 bucks. The Eminem plush from the last episode sold for 11 bucks. Uh, see, we got a the big toothbrush, the big long like three foot long toothbrush plush from the last episode sold for 13 bucks. We had some pretty good sales too. This Grizzly skateboard hoodie sold for 22 dollars. The Yellow Kids Crocs from the last episode sold for 26 bucks. I think our biggest sale of the entire show was a Minnie Mouse Disneyland Spirit jersey that was from maybe four or five episodes ago. It took a while to get it cleaned and ready to list, but we got it listed and it sold for 61 dollars on that whatnot auction to our friend Misha from Chili's. Thank you so much, Misha. Appreciate that. So some smaller sales, some really nice sales. In the end, it all balanced out. And I think we walked away with a grand total of $560 in revenue and after whatnot fees that netted us $466.48. Drywall guys are officially done. We have paid them $2,500 and they oh. it took them what, like three days, I think, yeah. something like that. We are so excited to show you guys the final product. But before we go in, I feel like we need to talk about this door a little bit. A little so bit. Josh and I have done a lot of work. This has been a joint effort. I started and like did the goo gone stuff and like scraped it off. And Josh has pretty much gotten all of the other stuff off and has sanded it. So I think we are ready for paint, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's ready. To, we got to prime it first and then paint it. I don't know what color we're going to go with yet. We're leaning towards like a sagey green, maybe a navy blue. We'll uh, tackle that in a future video. Yeah, but... let, us, let us know what you think, because right now we have obviously the brick color and then black shutters, which we can probably paint these a different color if yeah. we want to. But yeah, let us know what you think would be cool here. Without further, further ado, come on in. Let's go check out the drywall. Before we go in, both of us are a little on the gross side today. We have been trying to clean up a little bit before you show, we show you guys this. So It's still dirty. It <laughs> yes. didn't help at all. I know. But walking in to the kitchen, and it officially kind of looks like a kitchen again. For the last, I don't know, three months, you guys have just seen studs and like just ugliness and every all the drywalls installed, they mudded over all the popcorn on the ceiling. So now it's a nice smooth finish, nice modern look there. We put some of our appliances over here just to get a feel of how the kitchen layout's gonna be. Uh, I'm really digging it, they did a really good job. We didn't do any trim around the windows because we're still flirting with the idea of replacing the windows at some point. So we just told them to drywall up to the studs and then if we want to replace the windows, we can. If we don't, we can just trim it out with some wood later on. We got all this done, let's check out the bathrooms. Before we go on to the bathroom though, I just want to take a second to like show you guys the ceiling here where we had those holes before. It looks so good. I mean, like after we paint and prime it, like it's going to look like a brand new ceiling. Like there were literally holes there before. Very cool. So we had drywall work to be done in both of the bathrooms. This is the obviously the hallway bathroom. They just really did right in here. Uh, the old bathroom vanity was kind of built in. So there's no flooring here. They didn't do the tile. So when we choose our vanity for this bathroom, we have to be a little selective, look for something that can hide this bottom portion. Uh, need a little bit more drywall work over here. They didn't really do any of this. They just mudded it for me. Uh, and then we've got to repair that little piece right up there whenever I get the shower valve installed. But it's looking pretty good. I think the most exciting thing about the drywall going in is the fact that it's actually looking like a house now. Mm -hmm. And like we have actual progress that you guys can see. We've done a lot of work. Josh has done a lot of work. <laughs> um, but it finally, like you can actually see progress. Yeah, they really can't cool. see all the plumbing that I yes. did under the house. I think this is the most exciting part though, because we've spent so much time in the master bath so far. And to, for this to actually look like a bathroom is so cool. As you guys remember, there was a hole here for when Josh had to like run the plumbing run the plumbing up the line so I don't know let's go come on let's go look. <laughs> check it out it just looks so great in here I mean after all of the chaos that was in here before and this actually looks like a bathroom now is just awesome so we hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. This will look at this one step in the renovation process so far. It is really nice to finally- step. A big step. Yeah. And finally to see progress, yeah. right? It's starting to look like a house again. Yeah. And we're super excited. So if you guys have enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on, on the, the next, next one. one.